Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at a California license plate. So this plate was first introduced in the early 1970s and it ran until 1983. So let's take a look at it. We have California 1HZU227. And the last time this plate was renewed was 1985. Now, I'm not from California, so if you are, maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I assume that after, um, after this design stopped being offered, if you had this plate, that you could still renew it for a period of time afterwards. As I see, the last time this plate was renew renewed was 1985. And it's a pretty clean-looking license plate. Now, California requires two license plates, one on the front, one on the back. They require emissions testing and uh, vehicle inspections. Um, California has some pretty strict environmental laws, so you've got to make sure your car's in good shape or you're not going to be able to uh, get your place renewed on your car. Now, another um, kind of fun fact about this license plate is, is um, a radio station actually incorporated this style of plate um, into their station's logo. There was a radio station in Los Angeles uh, that was uh, 94.7 uh, KMET. And um, it's no longer that. It's KTWV now, and it's called The Wave. But in the uh, 70s and uh, up until the mid-80s, it was known as KMET 94.7, uh, which was a rock station. And one cool thing that they did, actually, was they uh the logo and the logo the plate was flipped upside down and the 94.7 kmet um was written upside down as well and it just made for a really kind of um kind of just a kind of something really catchy like a catchy station logo and the guy who actually came up with that was none other than uh shadow stevens actually so um you know that's a little bit of uh fun information for you right there but yeah that's the uh california license plate and want to thank you guys so much for watching be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and as always guys have a great rest of your day